Hello, my name is Kostas. I am a PhD student in the Wireless Networking Research Group. My supervisor is Boris Bejalta. I am going to talk to you about virtual worlds and their communication problems. A key idea here is that a virtual world is always associated with the real world. In fact, we usually use the term virtual reality in order to highlight this blending of virtual and real worlds. An early representation of a virtual world is included in the Republic. This is the story of the cave, as told by Socrates. In the cave, on our left, there are some chained prisoners. They can't move or do anything apart from watching the shadows of some objects carried by some people behind that wall. They can also hear some ambient sounds, but since they do not have any knowledge about the world, the prisoners assume that the shadows on the wall are the sources of these sounds. So the question of Socrates is, what should happen if some people break their chains and realize what's going on? His opinion is that they must return and inform their fellow prisoners that their experience is a virtual reality. The story of the cave shows that virtual reality is mostly a matter of presence. From our perspective, we would like to enhance this illusion of presence. Here we have an example of a contemporary virtual reality system that includes a client and a server. The client is a head-mounted display that sends information about its current state to the server. Based on this input, the server generates video, audio and haptics. So we have this infinite loop of information. A client reconstructing a virtual world based on its current state and the generated content by the server. There is a great opportunity here to revisit the fundamental communication problems the accurate transmission of a message, the significance of each message, and also the influence of the transmitter on the receiver. The goal of studying these problems is to create information systems focused on reconstruction rather than transmission and reception. We will be happy to share more with you in the near future. Thanks for watching.